What do you think of the views on this trail? This hike is amazing. We haven't made it very far past uh, La Signal because we keep stopping to take photos because you can see the entire Chamonix Valley. This amazing mountain behind us, which looks really close. It looks a lot closer than it did when we were over there. I didn't have expectations of being able to see the valley. Man, this is pretty insane. All right, good morning. Welcome back to another video. We actually came back out to the Monteverde Mer de Glace, uh, top of the train station. Uh, it's interesting because it's completely sunny and clear on top of the mountain, but then when we were at our hotel earlier this morning, we were a little bummed because there was like this low hanging fog, low hanging clouds in the town itself of Chamonix. Well, we didn't know it was low hanging. We thought it was everywhere. Yeah. So we were like, what the heck? The forecast didn't show this yesterday, but then we checked the forecast, you know, like a, an hour or so later, and we saw that it was just a low-hanging fog. And above the fog, where we're at now, it's completely clear. You just never know in the mountains, the weather changes so often and so quickly. So you just have to sometimes just go with the flow and, and see and go with it. But what we're gonna do now is hike from Monteverde, the Merida Glass train station, kind of up towards uh, Aguid du Midi station, which is the, the middle station before you go up all the way to Aguid du Midi. But we also are gonna go and take a little uh, side trail to Le Signal. And so that should have really good views from there back towards the glacier and also kind of a 360 panoramic view from there. Should be about a three hour hike, three to four hour hike. I read it's like five hours. Really? Yeah. Okay. And the signal is a 30 minute detour. I don't know if it's 30 minutes one way or 30 minutes round trip, but this hike is supposed to be difficult. So yeah. it's, it's straight uphill. So I would say that's probably accurate. And a lot of people do this hike the reverse way. They take the cable car up to the mid station and then hike down towards the Mer de Glace because it's downhill and then take the train back into town. But we're doing it the opposite way because this way you have views of Mont Blanc and all the mountains and the whole Mont Blanc Mastiff. Massive. Massive while you're hiking. So instead of facing away from it, we're facing into it. So you ready to go? Yep. All right. Uh, this is the start of the hike. The sign says Plan de Gui, two hours, 45 minutes. And then the signal, 45 minutes. So I think we might have to combine those together, maybe three hours, 15 minutes. We're already shedding layers because it is pretty sunny, so it's getting warm. And we're hiking uphill, but man, the view from here is really good because you can see We've been pretty much just chilling the last two days because it's been rainy down in the valley. But then up in the mountains, you can tell that there's been fresh snow, so it looks really cool. So this hike going this way has really good views. We've now reached Le Signal 45 minutes later, so the times posted are very accurate. It was a thousand feet of elevation gain from down there by the hotel all the way up to Le Signal. From here, it should be a gradual, either flat or gradual up. That was the hard part. The beginning part was the hard part. But I will say it was not as difficult as the climb to Bossons from the bottom. Mm. That, oh yeah, that first hour of Bossons was Tough. Yeah, because we're literally climbing up the chairlift. <laughs> but yeah, the views from here are incredible. This is the Merida Glass Glacier. It has receded so much. Yeah, it's really unfortunate and it's really sad to see. But we are probably as close to the glacier as you can get. The ice cave down there is like way over there. Mm -hmm. It's really cool up here. Not a bad lunch spot either. Yes, now we eat.
had a nice lunch up here at La Signal, enjoying the view over Merida Glass. Take some photos, and now we're ready to continue going to Plan de Agui. So, I think it's probably another two hours from here, but much more lovely. So one thing that you have to know about the signal is once you reach the sign up there, there's a little sign that I see now, you have to kind of come towards the Whoa. glacier. Oops, sorry. So you have to scramble on all these rocks and then you'll figure it out. Go towards the glacier. There's a really nice viewpoint over there. So don't just come up to the top and say, oh, that's it. Keep going down towards the glacier and there's a really good viewpoint, good place to stop for lunch or a snack or whatever. So. Take a selfie. All right, Melissa has something very important to tell you guys. Does anyone here watch Outlander? If you do, don't these stones kind of resemble the stones in Outlander? Do you think I should go through the stones and travel through time? Nope. You'll never see me again. <laughs> yeah, because she ain't coming back over here in the future. <laughs> should I go touch it? Sure. Watch me disappear. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, still here. Don't have the magic. The views from the top of La Signal. You can also see down into the town if we go this way, Melissa. It's pretty insane, so definitely make the trek up here. Now, I can see most of the rest of the path should be relatively straight, or flat rather. So let's keep on going. And hopefully we make it there in about two hours. Maybe less. What do you think of the views on this trail? This hike is amazing. We haven't made it very far past uh, La Signal because we keep stopping to take photos. Because you can see the entire Chamonix Valley. It's no longer shrouded in fog. This amazing mountain behind us, which looks really close. It looks a lot closer than it did when we were over there. Such an amazing hike. I didn't have expectations of being able to see the valley. Man, this is pretty insane. I can see why this hike is the number one rated hike in this entire Chamonix Valley. And definitely hike from the way we're doing it, the Monteverde to Plan d'Agui, because just the views, I mean, every single little corner that you turn around is amazing. I mean, look at this. Views into the valley, views of the mountains. It is absolutely amazing. How come we can't make it very far on this hike <laughs> at all? We take like four steps and we stop. Wow, when you turn the corner, you can see the Alps, um, basically the Mont Blanc Massif. You can see the Aigui du Midi. You can see the Chamonix Valley. Yeah, like all the way down the valley. It is yeah. insane. Oh my gosh. I think this is my favorite hike. We keep saying that. We keep topping <laughs> one hike, tops the next. <laughs> no, this is my favorite hike. This is... I have no words. We're gonna have a little photo shoot right now. Melissa is standing on this rock to take photos, but she doesn't even know the precarious situation she's on. Look, look at this gap right here. Oh. <laughs> it's like literally a wedge between that and then this series of rocks, but it's pretty secure. You're not going nowhere. The hike from La Signal over to Plan Uaigui is pretty easy. It's a little bit of a downhill after the flat section, and then now we're climbing gradually back up to the refuge. But funny enough, we met a couple from Houston, but they lived in London right now, but they're moving back to Houston. But then the husband actually lived like a few streets from us back when he lived in Houston. What a small world. The middle part of this hike is really pretty. It reminds both of us kind of like Lake Tahoe. 
because in the little bit over there, there were some pine trees and the white rocks. And then now we're, we can see the little restaurant refuge up there. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna go down a little bit and then gradual back up there. But yeah, really easy, really nice. And today the weather has graced us with no clouds and full sun. To Plan de Agui. De Agui? Yes. Plan de Agui? <laughs> Did I distract you? <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's 2.05. We made it right on time. It took us two and a half hours plus photography stops and a lunch break. <laughs> but still, we started at like 10.40 and with all the breaks, we got here at 2. And there is a little restaurant. They call it a refuge, but you can have drinks and a light lunch here. So. We might do that. Well, we might have a drink, maybe coffee or something like that, tea. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna then head up to the top of the chairlift again, see what it's like because over Not the last the two days, gondola. gondola. Over the last two days, there's been new snow, so we wanna see what it looks like up there. And we're just looking at the glacier right behind me over there, and it looks a lot whiter. Curious to see what it looks like up there. How'd you find that hike, Melissa? I thought it was easy, but we are experienced hikers. I, it's rated difficult, but I would probably say for moderate, most people, yeah. it's moderate. The only hard part was the real, I mean, the hard, quote unquote, hard part was the beginning climb from Montevere train station up to La Signal. And after that, it was just very gradual up and down, up and down. Even this little last climb up to the middle uh, gondola station was easy. But it was a very enjoyable hike with views the entire way. So I highly recommend it. And I will say, this is my favorite hike in Chamonix. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Ready for a snack? Yep. Actually, we were mistaken. There's two little restaurants and snack bars. So the one down there that we were just at is the one that's lower. It serves more food. And there's this one right here that's literally across from the gondola station. I thought the one we saw down there was the one next to the gondola station. But yeah, it's okay. It was another about 10 minutes walk up. So not too bad. And then now we're gonna probably head up on the gondola. But now behind me, it's a little bit of clouds, but I think it's clear at the top, so it's okay. It is definitely a lot different up here today compared to the other day we were up here. All the new fresh snow looks really cool. Melissa is having more lunch because she didn't finish her sandwich yet. It definitely looks a lot nicer today than it did the other day. But we just wanted to come up here and do a quick little visit just to see what it looks like when there's fresh snow. But yeah, overall today, I think 10 out of 10. Yeah, this morning I thought it was gonna be a dud. Hmm. <laughs> we just needed to get a little bit higher from the valley and it turned out to be a perfect day. There are no clouds behind us. So this yeah. is incredible. Like Melissa said earlier, is our favorite hike in the entire Chamonix area. So definitely, if you're here in the area, this is one not to be missed. You can do it off season. So we're here obviously towards the end of the summer season and you can still do it because both the train and the gondola uh, opened at least in 2021 until September 26th. Uh, a lot of the other trails, you'll need other chairlifts to get to. All those chairlifts are closed, but this one is one that you can do. So highly recommend it. Um, whenever you come, definitely do it. So yeah, with that, we're gonna sign off for this video. If you found this video helpful or you like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more adventures. See you next time.